What's up guys, Logs here, and we're back with another Battlefield 5 commentary. Now I know not all you guys like watching this, and I can understand why, but hey, I enjoy making them, so I could care less. I mean, it's my channel. I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. <laughs> Battlefield 5 commentary. Last one we did was on the Car 98 that I just unlocked, and this one is on my new favorite sniper, the M1 Carbine. I know, it's not even a sniper rifle. But I just unlocked it, and I this is my first game ever using it. I throw on the sniper scope, just go fuck around with it, pretty much. And I actually love the damn gun. It's crazy, but I have two gameplays that I'm going to be playing for you. Me just shredding. This is my first game ever using it. I did not expect much. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be talking behind the clips. Um, and just let you enjoy the gameplay, but this is by far the best sniper rifle in the game. No, I'm just joking. No, but really, it is. Um, <laughs> going back and forth here. Uh, I love the destruction in the game. Just looking at the explosions and all that, you know. We're all simple-minded people. We like things when they blow up, and we like people, and we like shooting people. But this thing is a tank buster. Like, this thing, literally, you can, you can out, outplay people in close quarters, like right there. And I can have type people, which I'll show you in the next gameplay, really. Um, I get some insane long distance shots. And every time I see a sniper scope or sniper glint, I usually take them out. And I end up ranking up to like level 5 and there's just one match. So it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, but I'm going to be showing the back-to-back -back games. So this one and then the next one, I forget what map it is. I don't even know the names of the maps yet. But just long distance shots with this, like, it's it's crazy because it's a 30 caliber gun um, in real life. Obviously, I'm a big gun nut, but it's 30 caliber gun, holds 15 rounds in a magazine, and man, it just rains hell. Like, it, in real life, I've never, I've shot the gun before, but I've never shot it, like, at this rate of fire or just this fast, and it's just crazy. I've never seen a game where the M1 actually does like crazy damage like this um you know i think the best m1 uh carbine in a call of duty game would be the uh be word of war i think um they had it in some old games but man the one in word of war was crazy good and uh this is my first time using assault class i, I just rank it up quite a bit actually but i just i love the gun and I, I have been toying around with a lot of them right here I see the I see that we just lost B flag and I actually rush in and I just totally wipe out the uh, all the players in B flag I don't know how I think there's like four or five but just the gun itself is just a beast and I've actually enjoyed every single gun in the game that I've used and this is this is my first time you know dabbling with the assault class because before this you know, I'm max ranked on the uh, on the recon class. I've already maxed that out, so I decided I'd go try another class out, shred that guy, and I actually gonna go for revives here, call my squad mates. But I decide since I'm getting shot at, might as well just take out the sniper too. So I think I peek and I just pop him a couple times, just give him a little love taps. And the gun does not sound like a hard hitter; it just sounds like a normal, you know, just a normal key shooter. But for some reason, the damage is just so good on it. I love it. Um, there is a patch coming out on December 4th. I hope they don't nerf too much stuff. I'll, I think they're going to nerf the throwing knives, which sucks. I really love the throwing knives, but some people think they're OP. I don't, I don't really think so. It just depends on who you're playing against. Look at, the look at the range. Look at the fucking range. I get the headshot on the dude. Like, what? Come on. <laughs> I outsnipe people with this gun, and it's... It's not even a good sniper rifle. Well, it's good, but it's not even a sniper, sniper rifle. Um, I just love dabbling with other things. There's another SMLE on the assault class, uh, but it's semi-auto. It's not like the it's not, it's not like the regular infield. It's actually a semi-auto version of it. I messed around with that a little bit. I don't know. I think the M1 carbine is definitely my favorite assault rifle that I've unlocked so far. Um, but I'm not even close to you know max level on the assault class. Uh, I, I did try the medic for a little bit, but this gun is just so much fun to use, and I've actually gotten two kill, uh, two clips with it so far. I'm not gonna show them in this game or this uh, this uh, video. What, I forget what I went. I think I got like 50 something kills. I don't know. 
Oh no, no, it was a short game, 24 and 6. Now this one, I get 62 kills, I'm pretty sure. This is the next map, so this is the M1, completely uncustomized, there's no, there's no uh, progression on this. Now after this game, I actually do go back and I put on extended bags, I put on hip fire accuracy, and uh, I think some other things. So basically I max the gun straight up, and it only took me two matches to fully upgrade this gun which is crazy. I can't even imagine what I could do with a fully maxed out M1 because you throw on extended bags to give it like 20 some bullets and you also put on a... Look, there's a fail right there. I tried to throw the, the satchel over and I just couldn't. Um, but I flank him anyways. So I put on extended bags and stuff up a little bit with it but it, I just haven't got a gameplay with it yet. Um, but it's crazy and you would think with the scope you would be able to win at close distance But that is not the case at all. I can win at any range with this like even sniping people and also up close and personal I you know I'll hit fire a little bit, but I just did upgrades after this game I put on some upgrades and I can actually hit fire and be accurate at close ranges So this is an all-around good gun Normally people wouldn't use a scope on it, which I understand not <laughs> it looks stupid to be honest um, But I just think it's a lot better if you use the scope opposed to iron sights But then again iron sights are cool, and I wish they would do a realistic mode in the war in this because it is World War two um, I best I'll just tell you what I think I think if they made this game if They wanted to make it really fun and enjoyable they would do basically whatever map you play it like your gunplay and everything all is based on which side you get. So the Germans can only use German guns, the British can only use British guns, French can only use French. You understand what I'm saying. And also make certain classes only available for like a limited amount of people. So maybe only 10 people can use Scout, only 10 people can use, uh, what, is, uh, what is it, uh, Recon, or not Recon, only 10 people use Assault, only 10 people use Support and Recon, so basically you limit the amount of uh, slots people can use, so like, it's basically like making it so some people are forced to use bolt action rifles, even though, you know, they don't want to, um, I just think it would be cool if you could, uh, if they, if they would implement something like a realistic mode, because back in World War II, you know, the Germans are using the Car 98 iron sight, the Russians are using the Mosin Nagant, the Americans are using the Garand, and only like squa uh, sergeants and stuff would have the Thompson or the, this actually, this M1 carbine was actually for pilots, so it was a lighter version of the M1 Garand that they could jump out of planes with, and that's why they had folding stocks on them and stuff, because you could carry it easily. And I wish they would implement something like that, maybe like a rifles only mode where you could only use bolt action rifles. Because that was mainly the the, uh, the firefights in World War II. You know, you had your big MG machine gun machine gunners, and you, you had the riflemen who were guarding the, the MG 42 machine gunners. And uh, you know, obviously they want to make a fun player base, but if they added a mode where it was you know just like a realistic thing, where you know you could have as many riflemen as you wanted, where you could only use bolt action uh, uh, iron sight rifles. I think that would be awesome, um, and a game that does that well is actually Red Orchestra 2, if you've ever played that on PC, it's an older game, but it, they did exactly what I'm talking about. My Elgato really lags at it sometimes in this gameplay, so that's just why it's acting weird. I don't know what it was, actually my computer turned off during one of the games and it froze my Elgato, so pretty dumb, but I don't know, I don't get any like cool clips in this. I just basically showing off the gun stock. There's no upgrades at all on the gun, and the bullet drop is crazy. Uh, it, it's actually not that bad. Like I thought, the, the long range, the bullets would really drop, but they don't. It's it, sometimes it feels like a paintball gun, just with the sound and stuff. And it takes like five uh, hit markers from a long range. But look at this, out sniping snipers. Like just look at that Last shot, man. I love it. I love it. But back when I was saying, like a, a realistic game mode where it's only rifles, bolt action rifles or something, that would be awesome. And uh, who's to know? Who knows? You know, they might actually do something like that. Um, I really do feel like I'm playing paintball with this gun. Like just the way it looks. It looks like a paintball gun, doesn't it? I mean, am I not the only one? Um, 
<laughs> but yeah, they are releasing a new patch and they're actually releasing new content every month. So it's free for everyone. So you do not have to buy, you know, DLC or anything like that. And I cannot wait for them to release guns. And I really hope they release the M1 Garand. You know, that's one of my old time favorite guns. I have it in real life. Um, and I'll actually make some more videos on that. Look at that, rank five within two games. That's pretty good. I find a little cool, uh, cool little sniper's nest up here in the ruins. And I'll actually get to a really cool spot that I found here in a second. You can find some cheeky spots if you uh, really, really play the map and mess around with it. Find a really nice spot um, in a second. But up here, I just see all these people, and I pretty much should have got a quad feed right there. I didn't get a single fucking kill. I was ridiculously pissed I didn't get one kill with a whole magazine. Didn't get one kill. Shoot a rocket. I, I might get a kill there. I don't know. No, just another hit marker. Pretty pissed, but it's whatever. This is where I find the cool spot. So I basically climb up here, and I see some people, I think. Um, but yeah, that's the spot right there. That's the one. And yes, that's one of the best sniping spots i found on the map, um, at least for those flags. But yeah, they're releasing a lot of cool stuff. Oh, this is this is the only in Battlefield moment. I need supplies. I'm, I'm at 16 bullets, and I pretty much just call in some uh, ammo, and it just floats down to me like a care package. So that's one of the only in Battlefield moments that I've had so far, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, a rifles only mode would be awesome. The M1 Garand, obviously. I wish they would put a Russian faction in, like they did in Battlefield 1. They actually had, they actually included the Russian Mosin Nagant, which is, I don't want to say my favorite rifle from World War II, but it's by far one of my most, one of my most favorites. The Russian Mosin Nagant is insane, and I just love the damn gun. Um, this is cool right here. Boom, last shot was a headshot. Catch myself, come back up, and I actually attempt a trick shot right here. Now you're gonna see it with the pistol, because I read out ammo. Trying to hit this dude horribly accurate at range with the pistol, and then I try a trick shot right here um, after I kill him, which is funny. Kill him there, and then, yeah, that was. That's just bad. But. <laughs> Oh, oh, I, I forgot I got a B2 rocket in this game, too. <laughs> I tried, this, you know, this is the second game I've ever gotten a B2 on the same damn map. I see, like, 20 people in a tank right here, so I'm like, fuck it. I called in right there. You would think I would get, like, at least a kill. At least one kill, right? With that B2. Nothing. Fucking squat. Zero. Zilch. And I just, you know... I'm just so royally pissed at this point. I ended up just killing myself. I cannot believe I don't get a single thing. Like, not one. I have yet to get. When I make it, when I actually get a V2 that actually kills someone, I'll be so pleased. So, uh, I don't know what the final score is. Is that 64 and 24? I don't know. Um, but yeah, not my first game ever with the M1. Really love it. Love the gun. Highly recommend. Also. Highly recommend Battlefield.